ओके सो टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज आज बाय बीपू के सी एंड शी आज दैट वॉट आर द विनिंग प्रोटोकॉल्स फॉर एन आई वी सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस डिपेंड्स अपॉन टू थिंग्स द कंडीशन विच वी आर डीलिंग एंड द अप्रोच सो द कंडीशन कैन बी ओ एस ए इन विच देर इज सेंट्रल कॉज और मोटर न्यूरोन डिसीज वेर देर इज अ मसल प्रॉब्लम और गुलियन बेरी सिंड्रोम लाइक कंडीशन और माइस्थीनिया वेर देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद द एक्जन एंड द न्यूरोमस्कुलर जंक्शंस बट असेंशली वैन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट विनिंग प्रोटोकॉल वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट acute exacerbation of copd sort of conditions like uh, in which the patient is retaining pco2 and now you have put in a bipap and the patient is developing respiratory acidosis in abg so we are talking about that so what we call that conditions acute uh, acidotic hypercapnic respiratory failure a a h r f so what does the guideline say so the british thoracic society guidelines say that the weaning protocol should be spread over a four period of four days so on day one if you are suppose the patient was uh, on 24 hours of bipap support so on day 1 give 16 hours of bipap then day 2 12 hours of bipap then day 3 8 hours of bipap and then four day remove the bipap so this was by british thoracic society so this is practically not feasible which we have seen in our clinical uh, conditions or scenario so in uh, uh, july august 2024 there is was an original article published which is a very beautiful article and what they did that they divide the patients into two group and see what happens so what were two groups in first group in on uh, first or one of the groups they decrease the duration of the bipap like suppose we are giving the bipap for 24 hours then we decrease to 20 hours then uh, 12 hours and 8 hours like that and in another group they kept the duration same but they decrease the pressure so suppose you were uh, went uh, giving an iv support of 16 is to 10 so they decrease from 14 is to 8 12 is to 6 like that but they kept the duration same so duration uh, weaning and the pressure weaning means in one they decrease the duration and in other they decrease the pressure and in the end they found that both the approaches works well it depends upon patient to patient so although in which they reduce the pressure but kept the duration same there was a slightly better uh, benefit in terms of low icu stay or some or uh, conditions like that so this is an upgraded version of our icu shorts so the first in this series is icu short 366 so i am giving you the links of both the articles in the description of this video and you can uh, ask in the comments and you can go through those articles so do uh, share with us how did you like this upgraded version of icu short thank you and now you can read more about it from the links in the description thank you